the four outputs of a good data analytics strategy. We just mentioned the summary of uh, what a good data analytics strategy looks like. So the, the first output is consensus and shared understanding on where you're starting as an organization. This is where maturity models uh, come in really handy when you're trying to show the organization where they are in the different, different um, maturity curves. And there's many that you can use and we might do a follow-up video um, on, on those options, but getting an understanding within the organization of where you are in your data analytics maturity capability, and also things like where your data quality uh, is at right now. Getting that shared understanding is the first item to tick off the list when building and socializing a good data analytics strategy, making sure that everyone understands exactly where we're at at the moment. That's number one. Number two, also leveraging, typically also leveraging uh, the maturity models, you want to paint a really good picture of where we should get to and why. Remember that all both of these are, have to be aligned with the business strategy. So um, not uh, it shouldn't be around, you know, we need to use deep learning uh, because it's cool or we need to bring in this tech because it's the newest. Uh, it needs to be supporting business goals and objectives that the organization uh, has, which generally are around revenue or profit growth, uh, reducing risk, reducing costs, et cetera. So you, uh, as a step two, you want to paint a really clear picture of where you want to get to um, and, and um, have that aligned within the organization so people understand where we're building to and make sure that you're including expectation management at that point. So people know that it's gonna take a while and this could be a two year, a three year, a five year journey to get to a point where um, things are gonna look the way that we want to when we get to our destination. So that's item two. Item three is the, the steps that we need to take to get there. So to start to, um, to bring this into, into reality. And a lot of times when we put together the steps, we want to focus on uh, the tools, on, the, on, on using uh, certain cloud functions or bringing in different technology, algorithms, et cetera. That's, that's really helpful, but it's more of an internal to the analytics and tech team, uh, but that's one piece. So that's the third piece, the steps that we need to take to get there, which will be heavily, um, which will uh, feature heavily, or the tech and the, the, um, the, the technology will feature heavily in that piece. So that's number three. And then number four, which is critical, is use cases. So having uh, either pillars of use cases or areas uh, of use cases that you're going to be tackled, these use cases should be prioritized um, across, across the business. That is a critical uh, component. So I've seen organizations that start their list with sometimes hundreds of use cases that then get prioritized and prioritized and sometimes they end up with a short list of four that they're gonna tackle in the next 12 months. That is very actionable and also gets a lot of alignment from throughout the organization. So I hope you can see that the theme here that is alignment and, and socializing uh, the, um, the current state of play in the organization and where we're shooting for as well. Um, as, a, as a, I guess, bonus point is make sure that you are engaging the executives and the stakeholders regularly with updates and those updates should be uh, should include progress that they um, that they care about. So something that is relevant to their area, give them a bit of progress so they can see that uh, the, the work that was planned in the strategy is being executed and it's going well. I hope this helps. Um, please uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, follow and subscribe for more videos like this. Hope to see you soon in the next video. Thanks.